We begin with what authorities are calling an unusual crash into the Great Salt Lake. Investigators say a single engine plane dropped out of the sky and the one person inside died at the scene. Search and rescue crews continue gathering debris this evening in an area referred to as Erdley Spit. Good for Utah's Allie Monson has details. The wreckage is scattered about seven miles west of where I'm standing now. Search crews have been launching airboats here at the Salt Lake Marina all day long, but they say this fog isn't helping. It's just a tragedy, unfortunate for everybody involved. Tooele County Search and Rescue, the Sheriff's Office, and the Division of State Parks and Rec are collectively gathering debris at the Great Salt Lake. This after a single engine plane went down sometime Friday. The plane is mostly intact, but there are portions that are scattered about, of course, with the wreckage that you're normally going to see. Authorities aren't saying much, but have confirmed the plane took off at airport number two in West Jordan. The pilot, Dr. Robert LaVon Moody, was alone. When family members reported the avid flyer missing, Tooele County officials tried tracking his plane. They were able to track it somewhat with some radar, and it appeared that they lost it on radar towards the west side of the lake near Stansbury Island. Investigators say they don't know Moody's intended destination, just that his plane ended up near Yardley Spit, the inlet bay closest to Brantsville. The Great Salt Lake offers some unique uh, challenges when it comes to search and rescue. Uh, lots of shallow water uh, incapacitates some of our boats and also makes it so some of our uh, uh, ATVs can't access the wreckage either. The Federal Aviation Administration will take over the ongoing investigation once crews finish up in the lake. Local authorities have notified the pilot's family and say crashes in this area are quite uncommon. In a normal year, you maybe will have one. Uh, sometimes you will have one every other year. And so it's not very often. Moody owns Bio Restoration Medical Clinic and Spa in Draper. The 69-year-old improved hundreds of patients' lives through innovative medicine, played the piano and guitar, and adored his loving family. Now, search crews tell me they plan on working out here all evening and even into tomorrow. They say right now their main concern is to gather any debris that's going to help investigators figure out how this plane went down. Reporting at the Salt Lake Marina, Ali Monson, Good for Utah. Thank you, Ali. Now, Dr. Moody will be missed by many here at ABC4 as well. He has offered medical expertise on several of our shows. His sister says, quote, We are devastated at the sudden loss of our beloved family member, Dr. Robert LaVon Moody. He was a cherished husband, father, brother, and son. He was the light of our family. We ask for the public's prayers and support at this time for Dr. Moody's wife, Stacy, their children, and our family.